Hi, I'm T, and I'm going to explain my personal orientation process. I'm going to start with my interests and inspiration. I am heavily inspired by film. It's always inspired my style. It's always inspired my works, especially film covers and film posters and the fonts that I use to promote films. I'm inspired by music videos because of the style and a lot of the directors. One of the directors that really inspires me is Hype Williams. Drag has been a heavy inspiration for me. The runway shows on Drag Race. Drag queens inspire me every day because they get to create things out of charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. My three strongest skills, my first one is editorial hair braiding. I've been braiding hair since I was 14 years old, braiding my own hair. I moved on to braiding people's hair for services, and then now I braid hair for exhibitions and for editorials. Since I've come to Amphi, I have been developing my filmmaking skills. I started by editing short videos for TikTok and for YouTube. When I started at Amphi, I had made the first film for our class and the last film for our class, the redo film. I launched a magazine called Not For Your Face, which is all about hair and fashion. I have only released two issues since. Um, it's just been a personal project to help me build my editorial skills. Next is my email, which you've already seen, so I will not be conceited and explain more about this. In my first year, I had many interests and no real plan to narrow them down. Starting the labs and taking my gen helped me slowly narrow my interests down. My possible roles in the fashion industry are one in urban hairstyling, which I could be in the brand identity production team. I could be a fashion editorial hairstylist. I could be a conceptual hair artist, which I am actually currently working on a personal project. Um, I could be a visual identity specialist for salons or brands. Letitia Key, who is a hair artist, and Nikki Nelms, who is a popular hairstylist in Hollywood. Next, I could be an art or creative director for fashion campaigns. Um, in the fashion industry, I envision myself taking the role of a creative director for either a fashion magazine, for brands, or also for fashion events. I added some works of Edward Enninfo, who is the first Black Vogue editor. Um, he's the editor for British Vogue. And I also added Ruth Ansel, who's a trailblazing um, graphic designer and one of the um, creative directors or art directors for Harper's Bazaar. A few other remarkable mentions are Fabian Barron, Ronnie Cook Newhouse, and Natalie Juberg and Hans Berg. I could also be a visual identity or brand consultant. That role would revolve around crafting and enhancing the visual narratives of brands. Um, my plan is to either work with brands as a freelancer or work with a creative agency. I intend to work in-house and build connections to a point where I can freelance or launch my own agency. The flexible program has thrown me for a loop, but Doing some research on it has helped me narrow things down easier. For the specializations, I had wanted to explore fashion and visual culture, fashion marketing innovation, and creative strategies and brand innovation. For the minors, I wanted to explore fashion theories and independent fashion magazines. For the internship, I was looking to work with a creative agency. Graduation, I am currently considering designing my own installation since this is something that I have done before curating and I thought it would be an interesting thing to explore and to build. So I went through each course to see what the positives and negatives would be and what I would learn from each of them. And I basically narrowed it down to doing independent fashion magazines and fashion and visual culture. They both take up two semesters, so I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we're going to figure it out. So here is my plan. I have created three plans that break down everything that I want to do for each semester until I graduate.
my personal goals for the flexible program, I decided to write the goals for the three important ones, which were fashion and visual culture, brands, innovation, and independent fashion magazines. And my development goals are very specific to that. I wish I could get into them, but I am running out of time. So this is goodbye.